What's up you guys? I'm Kristen. Today I'm here with Colin and he's going to show us a really easy recipe to make some ceviche. So what do we got going on? I would say it's kind of a Baja influenced ceviche is how we do it and you know in my family. And basically you start with the juices. Grapefruit, oranges, and limes. Fresh squeezed and that's what the fish goes in. And one fish that, that everybody thinks of because it's so good raw is tuna. Right. But tuna is actually a fish you don't want to use for ceviche. Oh, really? Yeah, you don't want it, the juices and stuff messing with it. It's so good by itself. Mm -hmm. Just sashimi that stuff and leave it alone. The fish goes in raw and kind of cooks, you know, from sitting for about right. half an hour. So it's not actually raw fish that no. you're eating? It's, it's, it's no, like, it's not like raw, like, like you're eating sashimi. Or, okay. Yeah, so, um, so the juices does cook it. And what we're using for the fish is a, is a cod. Okay. And you can use any white fish. And probably the fresher, the better. Like totally. You'd want to go. Yeah. I mean, the, the most ideal thing is right off a fishing boat down in Baja after you're done surfing, mm -hmm. you, you buy a nice big chunk of white sea bass, and it's basically still flipping, yeah. and chop it and just start throwing it in a bowl of juice. We've been traveling down to Baja. You know, I've been going there since I was a little kid. But as a family, we've been going down a lot the last, I'd say, three years. And we've kind of like the whole grapefruit thing and stuff, which might be different than other people. We started doing that and we just love it. You get tortilla chips, tortillas. I mean, we'll we'll wrap it in like tortillas like it's a taco and it's, oh, it's insane. Yeah, that'd be so good. Yeah. Sometimes there's Asian inspired mm -hmm. a ceviche and this is definitely more tropical with the fruits and you can smell, I can like smell the grapefruit right now. Totally. It's fun to like make a recipe kind of your own too. I love it. Yeah. I actually love to cook. So in the bowl already, I kind of jumped ahead just a little bit. All, the, all the, the mixture of the three juices, now I'm adding cucumber. Okay. And you just dice it up too. Just dice it small. up, yeah, kind of like little quarters. This is nice. It's something that's easy and quick that you can just whip up yep. and let sit and then yep. it's ready to eat. And it's really good for you. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing that is not completely healthy for you too. And the onions, it's not like, like you know, it's just kind of thin strips, you know? Mm -hmm. Not like, like, say you would dice them for salsa. All right, so now I'm adding the mango. And this gives it a good... Nice, sweet. Yep. Can you just kind of eyeball this cilantro? Yeah, I just, just, kind just of... eyeball on it, totally. Okay. I don't think there's any wrong way to mess up. Yeah. Um, basically, whatever, however much stuff you have, as soon as the mm -hmm. bowl's full, you're done. So now we got a lot of avocados Yes, yeah, so now we got here. avocados. Okay. And I'm just gonna, same thing, just kind of chunk them up. I cut everything so that it could fit on a chip. So you could like scoop okay. it on a chip, mm -hmm. or it's gonna roll up in a small little tortilla. Okay. That's kind of my theory. I like the tortilla. I haven't yeah. heard of that. That's oh, yeah. a good idea though. I mean, it turns into like a healthy burrito or yeah. a healthy taco. Okay, so then it's real simple. Garlic powder, pepper, salt See, is the last thing. It. And then you just give it another good stir. Okay. And how long do you let it sit for? 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Okay. 30 is safe. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you have time and, you know, it could probably sit longer. But okay. 30 is the safety number where it cooks the, cooks the fish. And you just let it sit out. You don't put it in the fridge or nope. anything? Yeah. Place Let's it, sit out, yeah. And believe it or not, it's even good the next day. Fry up a couple eggs, throw that in a tortilla with this, Ooh. and you got a breakfast burrito. Yeah, that's a good idea. Pretty much, you can't go wrong with tortillas. You can wrap, <laughs> you can wrap anything in a tortilla <laughs> with a little hot sauce, and it's really good. So, I think that's about All right. it. Nice, and the now final. you just now you sit. It's, it's a fun it's food too because you sit around, like we'll sit around a table and just it's kind of like. It's, You're all sharing the right, same bowl. It's very communal. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So. Yep. It's good. Awesome. Well, thanks so much. You're very welcome. Well, well, don't thank me yet. You got. You yeah. Gotta try Thirty it minutes. Still. Thirty <laughs> minutes. We'll see. Yep. We'll see if I'm thanking you. So obviously we've had a little bit of time to let this sit, and it's yeah, ready it's to cooked. go. It's so we cooked. got the we got the real taste testers right here. <laughs> so let's go. We're mm. now good. Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right, what do you think? Does it does it pass the test? Mm. No, it's very good. Perfect. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Be sure and click that subscribe button, and be sure to keep living the salt life. We'll see you next time on Tropical Treats.